430 safety experts warn Connecticut is reeling from a huge surge in deadly crashes involving impaired drivers. One East Haddam father is on a crusade right now to make people understand that one mistake can change so many lives. Channel 3's Roger Suzanin is sharing his emotional story. And the loss of a child or and you're never ever going to get over it. It would something you never get over. The people who love Kyle Herman will never forget him, but their lives changed when his ended. Kyle was killed when he was just 23 years old after he was hit by a drugged driver who was traveling the wrong way on Route 16 in East Haddam back in 2018. I get up in the morning, I think about him. All day long, I think about him. I, you know, when I go to bed at night, I think about him. Now, Kyle's parents, Larry and Erin, are dedicated to preventing future impaired and distracted driving tragedies. Yeah. My son was worth knowing. My son was worth being remembered. And that's what my drives me every single day. And if I can make one person think differently, then it's worth it. But we have a long way to go. According to Mothers Against Drunk Driving, Connecticut has the third highest percentage of deadly crashes that involve drugs and alcohol in the country. And overall, fatal wrecks are up 25% through September of this year compared to 2021. MADS New England Regional Director Bob Gargiulo implores people to wake up. So it's got to, as a, as a human, you have to be compassionate, you have to feel it. Luckily, though, heroes like the Hermans continue to fight for change. We'd like to give you this check. Thank you very much, guys. I I'm kind of speechless. Uh. This week, Kyle's former co-workers at Roto Frank of America in Chester donated $2,000 to MAD in Kyle's name. You. And you can help too. There is a Walk Like MAD event on the Branford Town Green Saturday morning. Larry hopes people come and honor Kyle and every other life taken by this unnecessary epidemic. I don't want Kyle to just be a number or a statistic. I, I want him to be remembered. Roger Susanin. Channel 3 Eyewitness News.